I'm just going to say it. Bring back the headphone jack. Apple, please do it. And I keep appealing to Apple because honestly speaking, it seems like the industry has only uh, made this move of removing the headphone jack simply because Apple has done it. Hey, what up? It's your boy Mob Justice back again with another video. And for today, we're talking about uh, something that's near and dear to me, and that is this um, the headphone jack, uh, which is slowly but surely being uh, phased out by uh, tech companies. And it all started with Apple. Now, to tell the story about the rise and most importantly, the fall of the headphone jack, one needs to go back to what I consider to be my favorite um, iPhone, and that is the iPhone 7. Back in 2016, Apple decided that it was an act of bravery uh, back then to remove the most precious port, and that was the 3.5 uh, millimeter headphone jack uh, from its phones. And ever since then, the iPhone has come without a headphone jack. The 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is actually one of the oldest pieces of technology that is still in existence today. Some people actually trace its roots all the way back um, to 1878 and this piece of technology was actually popularized by its uh, bigger uh, brother or bigger cousin that is the quarter inch jack. If anyone has ever held a uh, pair of DJ headphones, um, the bigger jack uh, that's uh, the quarter inch uh, that's called uh, the quarter inch um, jack and that was is directly related to uh, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. That quarter inch jack was made popular uh, by uh, ex phone exchanges back in the day uh, because you had call operators who used to literally physically pull in and out um, those jacks to connect and transfer calls. And right now it's always been one of the more ubiquitous uh, pieces of tech and it was made even more popular with the advent of uh, technology like um, Sony's Walkman um, which then uh, saw the rise of you know personal listening of music and popularized uh, you know people carrying around um, earphones and then over time we got to a case where we had things like this earbuds earphones and the like so why is getting rid of this 3.5 millimeter headphone jack really such a problem now the big issue for me personally is that one there is no more standard because the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack has always been a standard whether you have a phone a laptop all the devices i keep mentioning they all use that same thing so you know that with one uh, pair of earphones you know that you can take it and you can listen to music on your phone at the same time you can take that same pair of um, earphones or headphones and listen to music on your laptop and that leads me me to this to the other point on this matter is that now um, for people to be able to connect things across devices you now need adapters they are now these little adapters uh, most commonly they're the ones that connect um, the lightning port on iPhones now to the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and um, it's actually a little dongle in the United States is about nine dollars ninety nine or ten dollars roughly and in South Africa it's about 200 rand and there would be no need for this if there was just some common standard but then that's what's there the other issue is that these little dongles actually come in two flavors most of the time they're the ones that are made for iPhones that go from 3.5 millimeter to lightning and then they're the ones that are being used mainly by Android devices and those are 3.5 to USB type C I want you to picture a scenario for a moment, right? Uh, I'm going to stay in the Apple ecosystem, you know, just to use this example to demonstrate how ridiculous all of this stuff is. Now, imagine in a, a situation where you go to an Apple store, you've got the money, you are balling, whatever it is, you've got the money, you buy yourself the new iPad Pro, you buy yourself a new MacBook, you buy yourself a new iPhone, right? Now, 
all of these devices have the ability for you to plug in headphones inside them but your issue is that you cannot take uh, the earphones that are gonna come packaged inside the box uh, for the iPhone and use them across the three devices without a little adapter. You cannot use the earphones that come straight out of the box from an iPhone and listen to music on your MacBook. You cannot take those same earphones and use them on the new iPad. Right, And in the same way, because the new iPad is using USB Type-C and it also got rid of the 3.5mm headphone jack, it means that the earphones you get in the box, um, if you get them in the box, they are not going to be compatible with your iPhone. More likely going to be compatible with your MacBook because the MacBook also uses the USB Type-C, but you can already see where the issue is. Back in the day, you knew that if you bought a new MacBook and a new iPhone on the same day, the earphones you get straight out of the box are just going to be able to use be used between them. Now you need to have like a little adapter that's going to be able to get you between the two devices. Now that leads me on to two particular points that I want to highlight as being the main reason for me doing this video. The first one is the fact that um, I personally, not to get into conspiracy theories, but it just seems convenient to me that on the same day that Apple decided to get rid of the headphone jack in the iPhone 7 is the day that they also introduced and launched the AirPods, which have now become very popular. The AirPods are the little wireless earbuds, um, earbuds sorry, that are there. And now you have uh, the AirPods, now you have AirPods Pro, right? good product they you know connect seamlessly um to and seamlessly and wirelessly to an ios device um to a macbook you know things like that good product but it's very interesting to me that apple decided to get rid of the headphone jack on the one day and on the same day introduce this new device and the other thing is um you know the second point is the fact that just because apple has done it now you found yourself with other OEMs, other manufacturers doing the same thing on the Android front. Samsung held out for you know quite some time and the fact that a new device has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack has become a bit of a feature, you know? And Samsung held out for some time, but when you look at the new range of uh, Galaxy S phones, the S20 range, they've gotten rid of that uh, headphone jack. And it makes you wonder why are people doing this? Because if they wanted it to be there, then it would be there. In this same vein, um, when you think about the release of the new AirPods, you have to also then think about the economics of removing the headphone jack. Because this is not the first time that Apple has done something like this. They got rid of Firewire, they got rid of uh, the disk drive, you know, things like that. But what made those removals different from this particular one is the fact that this is such a ubiquitous sort of port. This is something that um, is used by so many different devices that taking out such a small thing has had some big effects. And the big one has been the fact that um, even though Apple has taken away this headphone jack does not mean people aren't using headphones and what has then resulted is that for the last uh, you know maybe three to four years in Apple's business there are different segments you've got services iPhones etc but one of their top selling products in the accessories range is two things one is AirPods you know because they've become quite popular but the one of the second ones is that little dongle that I keep talking about, the $10 dongle or the 200 Rand dongle that go, that little adapter that connects normal earphones to an iPhone is one of the biggest selling products for Apple. So basically, if you have an iPhone, right? Think about it for a moment, the fact that Apple is selling you back a feature that used to just come built in, right? You pay $1,000 for a phone only to have to go back to the store and have to buy an extra dongle so that you can plug in your favorite pair of um, earphones, earbuds, or whatever they are. 
back in the day when they first uh, did this in the iPhone 7, they used to actually include the dongle inside the box so at least you got it there but now they got rid of that as well so now you're forced to go and buy and on top of everything else those little things right they get lost so easily i've had so many people in my life um that have you know on a random day um they'll say do you have this adapter do you have not and for me it's not a thing it's actually one of the reasons why you know whatever phone i've used up to this point has that jack it's a it's a must for me because i need to know that i can use the same pair of earphones um on an iphone on an android device on a laptop whatever it is i shouldn't be you know wondering about what's going on so from bottom line point of view we always need to accept the fact that uh, as much as apple says that this was a brave move um you have to also look at the bottom line the fact that they're making billions of dollars selling customers back this little feature that is an inconvenience to sort of emphasize this point i'm making about making money from features that um you know manufacturers take away let's just spend a little bit of time talking about the macbook because a few years ago apple did about the same thing with uh, the macbook line of products because they got rid of most of the ports your normal usb uh, type a um, ethernet ports they got rid of sd card ports you know things like that and it's now all just usb type c and then a headphone jack that's what that's the standard set of ports that you get on a macbook and now for a person to be able to plug in other devices that don't necessarily use usb type c they now have to buy these dongles these adapters that have you know sd card readers that have normal usb um that have normal usb slots on them and things like that and that's more money for third parties that are making those dongles and for apple when it sells you its dongles right so just think about all of these things is it not just convenient that they get rid of you know these features but when you look at what their top selling accessories are because on that front of the macbook one of the top selling um, accessories is the cable that actually connects your iphone to your macbook because out of the box guys uh, just listen to me out of the box you cannot buy a new iphone and a new macbook and be able to charge your iphone with the macbook without an adapter sitting in between you literally can't take the cable out of the box of your iphone and plug it into your macbook this is how ridiculous this issue of ports has actually become now moving forward and going forward i think we need to take a step back and just realize that the more that things go forward um, the more that either things stay the same or actually go backwards if someone actually goes back uh, in the day they'll remember that charging your phone and actually listening to music was a very hard affair between devices nokia used to have its own methods of charging it used to use a different type of um a headphone jack back in the day sony ericsson had its own connector for earphones and for chargers samsung used to do the same blackberry they all had these proprietary means um to connect but over time there was a more unified approach and we sort of got to this place where we all knew that if you have an ios device you're going to be using lightning if you have an android device you're more likely going to be using um a usb be usb of some sort especially micro usb and usb type c is now meant to be that one port that's going to be able to you know to carry things like your music and things like charging your phone that could be that wired standard that everyone has my only issue with that is the same issue with the iphone taking off the headphone yeah uh, jack is that if you have a usb device and usb powered earphones if you want to charge your phone and listen to music at the same time without any wireless stuff wireless charging or wireless earpods how do you how do you do this thing right these are all the some of the considerations the second one let's come up with a wired standard wired music is still better um the, the listening experience is still better the audio quality is still better and in many parts of the world the uh, people just can't afford 
wireless earbuds wireless headphones so just having a wired standard of some sort could be good technology companies are doing amazing things nowadays i mean the iphone 10 and iphone 11 have curved screens at the bottom there right if they wanted to put a headphone jack in they could it would not cost them that much and who really needs these phones to be that thin and then just going forward at the end of the day my plea at the end of the day for me is guys just bring back the headphone jack we've seen companies rolling back on some of these technology decisions and it just makes no sense that you'd get rid of a port that is so widely used just in the name of progress yes one day we're gonna all be using wireless earbuds wireless earpods of some kind of sort but until we get to that point this removal of this headphone jack is an inconvenience more than anything else they say that it's a step in the right direction that it's a step in progress but for 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 many people out there especially those that have lost earpods those that have lost their little adapters and connectors and constantly have to buy them you know again those people are not benefiting the people that are benefiting are the manufacturers um, of those little devices so it's not really benefiting the consumer in any way on a practical level on the high end lots of people have adopted with the wireless standard but for the rest for the rest of the world wired is still a thing so that's been it uh, for this video uh, like i said it's something that's near and dear to me it's actually been one of the reasons why i i never went you know in the ios world i've personally never gone beyond the iphone 6 because i just need to be able to take the same pair of earphones it's just a practical thing um take the same pair of earphones and just use it across you know devices it's really not that difficult why do we need to be donating extra money um to be buying something that inconveniences us when you're paying that much for a device a thousand dollars for a phone but you still have to be buying little extra devices along with it it makes no sense let me know what you think what has been your experience have you had to replace these little things have you bought one how many many have you had how many have you lost if you've lost them if you're on the wired you know side of life do you miss being able to connect to the aux cable let us know what you think it's your boy mob justice this is muffs too much and you're watching mob justice tv like us on facebook follow us on instagram follow us on twitter we're there on youtube thank you for watching our video subscribe